Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a digital marketing trends quiz using the Quiz and Survey Master plugin. To create our marketing trends quiz, I have created the Dummy WordPress website using InstaWP. It's one of the finest platforms to create disposable WordPress websites to test your ideas and tools for free. Here, you can build a quick disposable WordPress website in no time. So, let's get started and let's dive into this. I have already installed the QSM plugin on my website. To see how to install the QSM plugin on your website, click on the information card in the top right corner of this video. Let's start by creating the quiz. Ok, so first step, hover over QSM and then click on quizzes or surveys. The second step is once you click on the create quiz or survey, the first thing we see is to select a theme for the quiz. QSM has a collection of stunning themes, but for now, let's go with the default theme and then click on the next button. Alright, for the last step, now on the quiz setting, we get an option for the initial setup for our quiz. Let's set a name for the quiz and select what kind of form we are using. Time limit, you can set a timer for your form. You could also select if you want only logged in users to be able to fill the form. Let's not do that for the time being. Now comes the add-on section, where we get to see the most used or popular add-ons of QSM. You could select any add-ons as per your requirements to add more features to your forms, quizzes, and surveys. Currently, we don't need any add-ons, so let's click on Create Quiz. Here comes the Questions tab, where we can enter our questions for Digital Marketing Trends Quiz. Let's enter the questions for our quiz. Alright, let's start with the first one, to know whether the user knows about the latest marketing trends. After entering the question, on the right hand side, you can choose the type of question and answer from the drop down. I am taking the multiple choice type question for all the questions and writing answer choices. You can give the points or correct or incorrect for the respective answers. For this, I am giving the points to the answer to show you the results. Also, I am giving the hint here for the user reference. And if you want, you can mark the question as required, so this question cannot be skipped. And then click on Save Question. Once our first question is saved, let's click on the Create a Second Page question at the bottom of the Questions tab. For this question also, we will be selecting the multiple choice type question and writing answer choices with respective points. Now I am creating a third page question and repeating the same process. Then click on save question. Now all the questions are saved. Let's set up a contact field to collect the information and the name as well of the applicants. Click on add new field and let's select the field type and label it as name. Now, since our question for the quiz is set and the contact field is configured to collect the username, let's set our final result page for the quiz as per the score. So, go to the result pages tab and here you can set conditions as per when this page should be shown. Now, after setting to conditions, we have to design the final result page that we have to show people to enter the message and take different variables from these templates, I am taking the total variable to put in my message. To beautify a result page, you can upload the image also in the description. For your reference, I am creating one more conditional result page so you can understand better. Let's preview our digital marketing trends by clicking on the preview icon at the top right corner of the page. As you can see, we have created the marketing quiz successfully with all the separate three pages with one question on each page and it's working just fine. Also, you can see the timer running on the rightmost bottom of the page. And finally, the result page. We have successfully added the score and the description here. That's all for this tutorial. Stay tuned for new tutorials and until next time, bye bye and stay safe.